I was, I was lacking self-confidence. I didn't care for myself. I didn't think I was worthy of a lot of things. And CrossFit has brought that back for me. I remember, and I, and I rarely ever tell this story, and I'm a patient advocate for hospice, where I go out and I educate doctors and families about what hospice can do for their loved ones. I remember sitting outside of a hospital in Sugar Land one day, and I saw this man and woman, very attractive man and woman. I knew they were in sales. Um, and I thought to myself, I was like, but a physician wanted to talk to them who are healthy, active looking individuals, or would they want to talk to someone who's looking like me, who sits here at 280 pounds, trying to sell hospice, trying to do my job? Who would they want to look at? And I thought, I was like, I'd want to talk to them. I wanted to talk to them. I want to know how is it that you got to where you're at? What are you going to do? Continue down this lifestyle and end your life early? Or do you want to make a change and do something for yourself? Do you want to be around for your kids? I was like, I do want to be around for my kids. I got to make that change now. And that's what I did. I'm not saying that. In 2007, I was having to go to the bathroom a lot. I was not feeling well, very sluggish. I thought I was healthy, you know, I was like, oh, I'm okay, I'm fine. Go to, to the doctor's office, take some blood work. They're like, you're, you're diabetic. My blood sugars, on average, was probably in the high 200s. My triglycerides were 999. My cholesterol was well over 200. Glucose was probably high 200s, low 300s. My A1C was probably around the 13 mark, when normal, again, is six and below. From 2007 to about 2013, I thought I was taking care of myself. I thought I was. In reality, I wasn't. And how did you feel? Like crap. I felt horrible. I was sluggish, I was sleepy, I was tired, agitated. I was, I was lacking self-confidence. I didn't care for myself. I didn't think I was worthy of a lot of things. When I went to the doctors in 2013, he really said, you need to do something or you're going to die at a young age. My boys are my heart and soul. I don't want them to find out later in life, as I did, oh, I'm a diabetic because I didn't take care of myself earlier in life. I just felt that just because I'm young, I can eat and drink whatever I want, not realizing the consequences. That's gonna catch up to you, as it did for me. I really have to sit back and think about what is it that I really wanna do? How am I going to do this? What am I going to do? So I made a conscious decision. I said, okay, so I went and tried my free class at Redefined. I went back the next day as a crazy person. I was like, let me try this again. And that was it. He started off a bit overweight. From when I was here, a bit overweight. But I mean, it didn't stop him. He's a workhorse. So I started going on a daily basis to redefine doing CrossFit. <laughs> my eating habits had to change. Didn't happen overnight. <laughs> Still enjoy my chips and queso. Not gonna lie. We live in Texas. We love Mexican food which I had to learn, that you can't do. It doesn't matter how much you're in the gym, if you don't have the diet, if you don't do it right in the kitchen, you're never gonna get to where you wanna be. So that was end of May of 2013. I went back to see my physician in September of 2013 and blown away. I took my triglycerides from 999 to 98, and my blood sugars were down to about 120 on average. My cholesterol was back to about 110. So he was just in shock. He's like, what did you do? I was like, I started working out. He's like, what about your diet? I was like, my diet's been okay, but I started working out. I started moving, that's what it was. Physically out off the charts. Like he's, he's got so much more energy. He can finish workouts now. He's not huffing and puffing so quick. So I started about 280. My lowest I got was 212 pounds. Um, I'm steady about, about 220, 225 now. I started off on one, two, Six meds, and I'm down to two. I'm down to two. My ultimate goal is to eventually get off of it. And it's a conscious decision. I don't ever want to feel like that again. When I was 280 pounds, I was miserable. I didn't like it. I don't ever want to feel like that again. I don't ever want to look at a picture and say, what's wrong with me? What, is, what happened to this guy? We can't ever look like this guy again. I know it's hard for meal prepping. It's hard getting up at four o'clock in the morning you know, and going and working out every single day. It's a conscious decision. 
to not allow yourself to go back to what you used to be. I've had a couple of family members who died at a young age and that was due to health issues, which I think could have been prevented early in life. And then seeing what I see with my patients in hospice, it's eye-opening. I don't want that for my kids when I'm at that age. You know, I don't want to deteriorate. I feel pretty young now, make those changes now. I had that choice. We all have that choice. Do you want to make that choice now or do you want to wait till you don't have those choices anymore? And when you're sitting there, you know, we're diagnosed with some sort of end of life disease and you're on this list of medications, do you want to make that choice then? You know, I had that choice and I made that choice now. For me, it's about my boys. I will think about them if I don't want to get out of bed. The alarm clock goes off, I'm like, oh, I don't want to get up. Well, what are you getting up for? Do you want to go back to taking all those medications again? Or do you want to go run around with those kids? Get out of bed. Go. Go work out. It's not the easiest thing in the world, but CrossFit saved my life.